Hi Sonoma County, it's still October 9th, um, just recapping sort of my meetings today, a lot of great focus on sustainability and agriculture, and so I actually had an appointment with a, a senior advisor at the Danish Agriculture and Food Council, so I would say that's sort of our equivalent to USDA in the United States, and so they oversee um, both uh, the corporate sort of food production as well as the farming side. So their head board actually consists of three farmers and, and three representatives from from local sort of food manufacturers or corporations. Uh, what I did think was interesting, she said that those those board members are actually in the office every week and providing a lot of day-to-day -day input. So I kind of was laughing at what my what my daily life would look like if my board was in the office every week, if you if you all were in the office every week, uh, giving direct feedback on all the sort of day-to-day -day projects. So I think we'll keep it like it is. That seems to be working well. Anyway, learned a lot about sort of the overall picture of agriculture and I've you know been if you've been following me on Twitter or um, on Facebook, you know, I've been in pursuit of, of kind of the wine experience here, and so I started by asking about the, the Danish, you know, wine grape growing and wine, and she said there's actually only about 60 uh, farmers, wine grape growers here in Sonoma County, or here in Sonoma County, no, here in uh, Denmark and, and outside of Copenhagen, and they're really quite um, small vineyards, and it's not really unlike Sonoma County where a lot of our farmers, you know, previously farmed something else and have evolved into grapes in order to keep sort of their farms economically viable and to keep the land, um, the, the grape growers here actually come out of other careers, took their money and, you know, are kind of maybe enamored with the idea of being a grape grower and a winemaker. And so they both grow the grapes and make the wine. But it's a very, very, very small market here, um, as you can imagine, very cold um, winters and not a lot of sun. And so that definitely limits what can be grown here. So what is made here, their, their biggest products are actually pork and dairy. And they do actually export a lot, um, a lot of food. But they have had a big push lately on sort of the local food movement and local chefs. Um, and what was fun is we talked about, you know, even though we're kind of a world away, um, you know, farming's farming. So she said, you know, we we always have those conversations. Most board meetings start with, you know, how the weather is affecting crops and what they're dealing with and what's going on on the farm and and you know similar issues, they do have a very big labor issue here as well. Um, just getting people to want to work on the farm is, is problematic and so that's one of their big struggles is that and also just um, you know sometimes the public perception, you know she said farmers here they are they're stewards of the land and they're taking care of the land but um, you know similar to sometimes how we we hear people in Sonoma County um, you know we have that have that debate and so um, I think you know it's just kind of on one hand refreshing to see that you know as you travel the world that agriculture is agriculture and you know they're very much focused on sustainability here and sustainable production and you know looking at what they can do to you know better their or lessen their environmental impact and a big piece about how they're working with the with their workers and, and and their employees and and also you know engaging in the community it seems like a little less of a community focus in the sense of what we talk about in terms of our neighbors um, because most of the farms are kind of outside of Copenhagen, which is the big city. Although they're doing a lot of kind of urban um, farms and gardens, kind of community gardens here as well. Um, so I guess farming is farming to some extent, uh, but it made me really proud to talk about what we're doing in Sonoma County and our sustainability initiatives. And so even to be able to have that kind of conversation in what is considered or perceived, you know, the greenest economy, greenest city in the world, um, it's fun to be at the table having having that dialogue. And so um, she was great to meet with uh, again and they showed me some fun ads that I, I will share some pictures of, but they're really focused on ag education and similar to what we to what we deal with is making sure that you know the next generation understands where their food comes from and and how it's grown and what goes into farming and into sort of the care of the land and the soil and so I, I think you know very similar to what we do so it was a great conversation and really interesting to connect um, with someone in uh, you know our direct direct line of agriculture work over here so uh, now we have a new contact in Copenhagen so we'll uh, have to keep that conversation going